Hello everyone, just Gorin here and welcome to another real life zoo tour. We're looking at Aventuria, the Vogelkelder today. And I'm joined by Leaf. Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing great today. I'm very yeah. excited for this Mr. Goron. <laughs> yeah, so this zoo, well we're actually, this is, an, this is a pet store, basically. <laughs> um, but it has a zoo inside of it. The way I found out about this is I've been trying to uh, see fennec foxes. As we can see over here, this zoo has fennec foxes. This is one of two zoos in the Netherlands that has fennec foxes, and I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I went. I, I was in the area, I decided to come by and have a look to see if I could see the fennec. And as we are coming in here, we can already see this is a crazy place. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Is this a pet store? Because this, this is literally has better theming than like half of the zoos near me. <laughs> I know. Why? This is basically the like uh, in in the in Netherlands we have this theme park. It's like super themed, the Efteling. This is the mm -hmm. Efteling of zoo uh, of zoos or of pet stores. This like, is like the San Diego Zoo of pet stores. I'm telling you that much. Yeah. It's crazy. And, like, it gets better and better as we get to the... This place has lore, believe it or not. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so this is the pet store part. Uh, we're going to go through this really quickly because the pet store does have a couple of cool stuff, including mm -hmm. some animals. But That's you can neat. see this is, like, the biggest pet store in Europe. Um, over here we have some Flemish giants because oh, nice. why not? Um, but yeah, they have a lovely little enclosure over here. And Just a very easy species to have. Yeah, and I especially love the one sitting inside of that vlog <laughs> over there. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's some there's some really cool things around here, like these trees, which have like exhibits inside of them, which is super cool. Um, I feel like this would be for some kind of squirrel or something, but I didn't see any animals in there. But it's pretty neat. Um, but yeah, just uh, look at all this stuff. It's so cool. It really is. I, the stream's cutting out just a smidge for me, Ooh. but I was able to see some of those snippets and that's already so cool. Yeah. So right now we're entering the zoo part. Uh, this is, the zoo is technically called Mapamundia. Um, but yeah, here we have a little look. I know you like this stuff. <laughs> a little look at the ticket roof. <laughs> There was no one inside there. But uh, oh, yeah, out here you can like dig for gold um, and that sort of stuff. Uh, That's this little, crazy. So little, is this free to get in here or? No, you could just see that little uh, thing close in front of us. Yeah. Uh, That's basically the thing that they open and close to let you All into right. the zoo part. Um, but it is like a five euro ticket or something. It's really That's nothing not at all. Um, I mean, it is a very small zoo, so uh, I think it's a pretty fair price, to be honest. I mean, um, something needs to pay for all this faux rock work. I mean, <laughs> look at all this. It's crazy. The one thing I will say, it's a bit of a bummer, uh, is that it was pretty dark inside, and my camera does not do well in low-light environments, apparently. Yeah. So the footage is a little hazy. But, it's all good. Yeah. We are entering... I get the vibes through here. That's all yeah, I need. You get the vibes. So this part of the zoo isn't it doesn't even have animals. This is like the archaeology part. So there's like all these fossils. We could we could see over here like a like a frozen mammoth sort oh, of thing. I that don't is know. A little tiny little baby mammoth. That's <laughs> crazy. That would have freaked me out as a kid. I, I just seems like that kind first. of stuff. <laughs> But yeah, we got some turtles over here. We got like a giant sloth. Or, oh, or, man. Or I think maybe it's a giant bear. I'm not sure. Um, and there's like a dig site uh, around the corner as well. Where as a kid, you're allowed to like take two things from the dig site, I think. That's so cool. Um, but yeah, the lore. So we're about to enter the like zoo part <laughs> mm -hmm. of the zoo part. Um, and basically the lore is that there once was a professor, Professor Doss, uh, and a hundred years ago he traveled the world searching for exotic keepsakes, uh, and inside the zoo we find a bunch of his discoveries and his tales and whatnot. <laughs> 
I can't wait. I literally can't wait. It's this kind of like lore building that I love to see in like real zoos and stuff. Not to dismiss this, but it's pet store. Uh, but mm-hmm. I can't wait to see it. This is yeah. so fun. So this is the first part. There's like several areas of the zoo. Um, and uh, over here with, uh, yeah, the zoo is basically divided into these different areas. Uh, only a few of them actually have animals in them, but this is one of those areas. So this is the uh, kingdom of Pharaoh Chupkulu or something like that. And Chupkulu. <laughs> and we have the meerkats over here, which have this That's lovely really little awesome. I love how much room, like the fact that they're a pet store, but they give all that room for them to like climb upon. Uh, mm-hmm. Just like all that vertical space is really awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, like, they don't have a lot of animals, um, but that does give them the opportunity to give all of the animals a little bit more space. Good. I will say not all the animals do. Um, I have to, I do have to admit that Sinus over there looks pretty freaking cool. Like, there's a lot of information on there, and just, uh, like, it's done really, really well. (laughs) It looks cooler than some of, yeah, actual zoo Sinus I've seen. Yes, uh, here we have our little mummy. Uh, okay, when, when like the Wi-Fi was cutting out for us, I saw that and I like tweaked out again. That's the kind <laughs> of stuff that would give me the heebie-jeebies. As a kid. I don't get this area is not kid friendly. <laughs> no. <gasps> Hello. Look at the little dwarf toys. mongoose. And we can also hear already in the background these beautiful music. Oh boy. <laughs> Can Is you that hear sarcasm it? or what? <laughs> can you not hear it? No, I can. Oh yeah, it's oh, uh, boy. it's it. That's part of the next area we're going to. <laughs> this is the big adventure tree. So our lovely uh, Professor Doss, uh, who <laughs> was going on his adventures throughout the world, he met this species of creatures species. living in the trees. <laughs> These are called. The Zoopies. <laughs> what? And the oh, Zoopies no. are, are these little troll people who have learned to live among the animals in unison. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so no. <laughs> and they're naked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think you can physically hear me go. I think I physically, like, I, I out loud just said, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I don't blame you. What is this? <laughs> I, I hope that's not a living tortoise. I just no, want to say all, that. I think they're all taxidermy. It was oh, also perfect. a fox, and it, it genuinely, it looked like they were, like, like the f- the fox was like a fresh kill. Oh <laughs> no! Along. But but according to the lore, they were helping the fox with its toothache, so it's very wholesome. <laughs> I guess here, so. Here you can see what? them swimming with the otters. <laughs> but on- honestly, yeah, the Grasslands Animal Pack just came out. I want the <laughs> Zoopy Animal Pack. <laughs> just- all zoopies. All of the oh animals that the zoopies hang out with. I mean, we have most of them in the game already. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going, like, up the tree right now, all the way to the top. And you've got all of these, like, views into the other parts of the tree. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. But, yeah, we're going all the way to the top where there's, uh, like, a little skylight. Mm-hmm. And we can also look down into where we were just walking. Um, I... I don't know why this is here. <laughs> Again, is what... all the full rock work. It's just so <laughs> intricate for, I have to say it, no reason. <laughs> except so to is... look at the zoopies. So this is like all the way up in the trees down there. Oh you can see the fox. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so, like, so much effort went into this. This is most... Literally how? This is, must have cost so much. And it's just the zoopies. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really hope that this music isn't licensed and I can actually play it on YouTube because I the, the listen. People need to hear. <laughs> they really do. Uh, and you can hear this throughout the v- entire freaking room. It's, it's. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh God. Like, which, I, I guess I should already 
uh, should I already spoil the the sad part about this video? Is I actually didn't see the Fennec Fox. You're kidding me. <laughs> I sat out, outside the exhibit for like half an hour listening to this freaking music. God, jeez. Well, <laughs> listen, you just have to go back again. Yeah, yeah you know, the I Zoopies will. will definitely help you out in that case. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here they're helping the squirrels collect chestnuts and stuff. Oh, perfect. Yeah. No, it's uh, they're really living with the animals. You know? I'm just so <laughs> confused by the like, like, okay. I'm a pretty wide guy. <laughs> I could not imagine navigating these, like, twists and turns. <laughs> yeah, it's not made for adults. I was struggling. No. But let's look at an animal again. Now oh, that we're perfect. past that, whatever that was. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, here we have a little exhibit for the uh, chinchilla, which I think this was the first awesome. time for me seeing them. So that was cool. Aren't they adorable? They are so adorable. Did you see them doing like a dust bath or anything? I did not see them do a dust oh, bath. Damn it. I did see them yawning, I think. But I have to ask, are they for sale? No, none of the animals <laughs> okay, in this... Okay, just making sure. <laughs> none of the animals in the zoo part are for sale. So all right. That is, uh, that is all good. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Yeah, they really are. Um, and now we're headed to the other side over here. Um, where we have another view into those um, mongoose, as well as one, uh, as well as this thing. Nice. There's just so much little pieces of theme in here. It's really yeah. cool. But yeah, this is the uh, mongoose exhibit, mm -hmm. and on the other side of it, we have the fennec fox exhibit. But yeah, oh, all right, they must have some type of indoor behind the scenes. Yeah, they have to resting area because yeah, they were not out. All the time I was here. Ooh. But on the other side, we do have these. These are the uh, Swinhoe Striped Squirrel. Oh, they're they are, adorable. They are so cool. And they are super active. They're just good all day long, just running around, jumping around those little branches. Uh, but yeah, you can see this would have been the <laughs> Fennec, sadly. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, this, this was it. It's they a shame. Did, they, I would, I will say this isn't the biggest exhibit. <laughs> no, um, this one in particular. But oh my god, my phone! Can you please stop. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this isn't the the Fennec Fox isn't the biggest, and I get it when there's a lot of kids screaming, as there were, yeah. and they're inclined to stay away. So, but hey, which is a shame, cool. but. I, I think their habitat could have used, like, maybe a bit of thematic scaffolding or something just to yeah. give them a little bit more, like, horizontal area. They just could like kind the of build up. Just like the meerkats had so much more verticality. Yeah. But. And I know, like, fennec foxes, from my experience, they like to hide up in, like, the top of the exhibit, usually. And it looks like they really don't have any way to get up there, which is a yeah. shame. Here's yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> It's beautiful. So oh, there's yeah. uh, two ways we can go here. Uh, one of them is the way towards the exit. So, of course, we're not going there. We are going to go to Expedition Bombay. And oh, for some reason, this entire area does not really have any animals either. But it's the most freaking themed shit that, All that right. the zoo has to offer. So this is like, I want to say like an Indian kind mm -hmm. of dock sort of area so we are on one of the travels of professor dos and uh, yeah just all the ambience all of these crates and cages there's like things for kids to climb around in all of these crates and stuff mm -hmm. um, i would have loved this place as a kid like oh yeah you would not have been able to get me to leave <laughs> No, but, like, all the small theming in here, it's just, it works so well. And, like, after watching this, I feel so inspired on my end because it's, like, tiny details in this tiny yeah. environment where it's, like, no matter what kind of zoo you are, whether you're, like, a big, like, big budget zoo or if you're a pet shop with the zoo in it, <laughs> you can work so well with what you have. And, I mean, look yeah. at that. Just yeah. this screen alone. Yeah, this is just, there's so much here, and it's just, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. We are, I mean, I wouldn't say, like, 
after something like this, you would expect like some big ticket exhibit or something. So it was mm-hmm. a little weird that was there was basically nothing here. But yeah. I mean, it was an experience in and of itself, I guess. No, really. <laughs> yeah, just super, super cool. Uh, I, I got to think about like, what's the point? Because yeah, like, why did they make this? <laughs> I can understand, like, you know, at McDonald's or something where they have, like, the playpen or whatever for, like, the kids. But at a pet store, what's the point of, like, this extreme, like, hyper-theming, hyper-detailed area? It's just, like, why? I love it. Don't get me wrong. (laughs) The owners must have just been really passionate about it. I really don't know I guess so. But, yeah, I don't know why it's breaking up like this. Um... (laughs) (laughs) It's all good. It's really just... This is the best recording ever. Uh, But yeah, we're going through uh, the boat over here, which will end us up at uh, kind of the next part. So we are currently... uh, Over here we can see the red sewers, which Mm -hmm. is where we're going to go a little bit later. First we're going to go over here. We have some of these awesome little mirrors. Oh my my gosh. Hey, you're as tall as me. (laughs) And now I'm upside down. Woo. Oh, that's fun. But yeah, uh, up here we're going to see another species that Professor does encounter on his journeys. It is the penguin people, oh, I guess. The penguin people? I have no idea. I think they're just sentient penguins or something. All right. Good for them. <laughs> well, there's a classroom over here. What a f- <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Why? At this point, it's not even funny. It's what's the point? Uh, that the one thing I didn't know until after I left is that you can actually lift up like the school desks and there should be things inside of them. Why? So I'm oh, really sad man. that I didn't get to check that out. But yeah, no. And there's a little picture. Just take a spot over there. The, the skeletons are like. <laughs> This is creepy. Like, <laughs> why? There was there were some parents who were like, "Yes, our little daughter, go sit next to the penguin man, and we'll take a picture." And the kid was not having it. No, <laughs> I'd be terrified. What's this backroom stuff? What so is this? This is the house of Professor Does. So, because he was always on his journeys, the house is a little bit in disarray. You know, he didn't really have the time to clean it. This is the, this over here is the Jan Hybrids plane. This is, um, mm-hmm. you know, in the city where he lived. It's where oh, he had all his neighbors and stuff. And here we have the professor working in his office. And there's just... I love this. This is all so cool, but why is it here? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Like, literally everything in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the great ape. Face masks right over there. That's oh, great. Yeah. No, it's going to get even better. Just you wait. <laughs> How? <laughs> Beyond, like, the Zoopies and the penguin people, how could you surprise me anymore? <laughs> oh, just wait. So, I honestly, there's like a bunch of taxidermy things in here. I would have mm-hmm. loved these things to actually be exhibits. <laughs> Like oh yeah, just like even house mouse, like just a mm-hmm. relatively low maintenance species. Oh my gosh, I know him. Oh uh, but <laughs> even <laughs> Hello. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> but like house mouse, you could do like any rodent. Really, mm-hmm. any kind of like small rodent would be perfect for this. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was too much effort to like make the exhibit safe. In like yeah. using all of these fabrics and whatnot, but yeah, it feels. Oh, this is badass! It feels like a missed opportunity. I don't know why there's crocodiles on the ceiling, to be honest. <laughs> but hey, why not? Yeah, it's just the zoo in a nutshell. Why not? Yeah, literally. <laughs> Can we make an entire city inside of our pet store? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Can we make the red light district? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Wait. Oh, I, I don't know why that red room is there. To be honest, it's probably not that. But <laughs> I, I think I my questions have more priorities <laughs> over that. I think that's the most normal thing. What? I don't. What know. in God's name is this? I, I don't know. 
<laughs> so yeah, here we are in the city where Professor Doss uh, lived. We have all sorts of little shops and facades and windows. That's so and cute, though. This, this is... <laughs> yeah, 100% like theme park vibes. Like this, this for, for like the Efteling, we have the Flying Dutchman uh, mm -hmm. ride. And it, like the ending of the queue is like this. Yeah, you're in the middle of the city dock, basically. And it looks just like this. It's ridiculous. And There's like, yeah, it reminds me of like an interior of a theme park, obviously. Mm. Um, but it's like so hyper themed. Look, and it's so raw, else. too. And look at the fish. <laughs> yeah, I think That's there great. used to be. I think there used to be piranhas in there because the lore does mention piranhas mm -hmm. being in this area, um, but I couldn't find any except for. In I the feel like that'd itself. be way too small for piranhas, anyways. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Um, also, in here there is a bunch of things for kids to like climb around into the buildings. Good, um, but I was. Yeah, I was too big for that. I could not oh. get in there. <laughs> Even though you could have gotten some really cool uh, views. We'll see it in a second. But I well, wh when I do come back to uh, Netherlands, right? This is in the Netherlands. <laughs> this is in the Hague. Yeah. I'm going to stop by Amsterdam, get a couple little mushrooms, and then just Go wish <laughs> myself luck when I pay that five euro admission fee in here. <laughs> yeah, so you can see me trying to climb up into... <laughs> into one of the buildings but yeah you would oh, end up on boy. that balcony over there um so that would be pretty cool that's so there. cool though here's a buddha who's this just sitting there this is just a buddha <laughs> i don't know i think they they did sell statues like this one in the store so i think it might just be like whatever they had lying around all right but yeah this is that little section back there was just it was so cool i love that yeah. So this would like go back to the penguin area, but I think we're gonna cut back. Oh, just look at all this stuff in there. It's so cool. yeah. But yeah, we're gonna There's quickly like so much diversity. Yeah. Cut back here because there was another pathway um, through the house of Professor Doss over here. Mm-hmm. Um, where this is, this one in particular, I feel like should have been an exhibit because they have taxidermy like rats in here. Mm -hmm. Just imagine if this was actually Yeah, what if you had real ones? That would be so cool. But we do have rats. Don't you nice. worry. Oh, because we Please are... tell me it's rat people. <laughs> oh, I wish. No, we have actual <laughs> rats over here in the De Hague rat sewer. So it's oh, just the most like stereotypical <laughs> like sewer rat. Sort of no, thing. that's I, good. That's good. That's good. I love the turd that is a shelter <laughs> over there. Um, there's also like water flowing out of these pipes. That's so as if funny. People are flushing the toilets, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you can like hear like people sitting on the toilets as well as you're walking through here. That um, <laughs> but yeah. immersion. Yeah, <laughs> it's always good to have immersion. Yeah, 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 why not? So yeah, we have some little mice and rats and things. I went through this pretty quickly, so we're gonna quickly like cut back to some mm -hmm. extra shots of these exhibits because they are pretty cool. I really like how how this area is integrated. I think that this would actually work in a real zoo as well. Oh and yeah. Not, not that this isn't a real zoo, it's just <laughs> Not to discredit it or anything, but I don't know any real zoo that has, like, humanoid penguins and the uh, <laughs> super kinder, or whatever super you want to call them. Oh my god. Yeah. No. Just so, just real quickly, just look at all these rats. Aw, look at them. Well, these aren't rats, I think these are just mice. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Oh yeah, you can also, when you look up, you can actually see a little grate that the keepers would use to access them. Nice. That's pretty cool. Just uh, for those people who like making backstages, that's something that you would have to take into account. <laughs> but yeah, they've got a little bit of shelter. I think the rat was under there, but it's too dark to see. Yeah. Sadly. It's still but so yeah. cool. Like, even like the plaster cover ups over there mm -hmm. with um, the bricks and stuff, that's so yeah. cool. Goes again. And of course, <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta give us some credit there. And I, I just love the turd. The turd oh, yeah. shelter is the best part. 
Of course, also just the little pictures are like, oh, no flash photography. It's Fever. disgusting. <laughs> I hate that so much. No, it's so good though. Uh, so yeah, that is that is the Wrath Sewer. <clears throat> that was uh, kind of the end of this part of the zoo. So we're back at that little mm -hmm. split where we were earlier. Nice. We're gonna go the other way. So there's a little Buddha statue over here. Very nice. I don't know why it's like in an exhibit that would give the impression that there's animals in here, but I couldn't see any. So, well, maybe they like planned to have animals in some of these places, but never got around to it. Yeah, that might be the way. In the yeah. case. So over here we have a dripstone cave, which is literally just like there's actual water in there. So you got these little stepping stones I you love can go that. around. And there's like stalactites and stalagmites all around. I think the sign talks about how those are formed and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, over here you can see like all of the stalactites and stuff. And we're about to go up there as well, which is really fun. Very exciting. This is so... Oh my gosh, the cave paintings. Yes. <laughs> there's so much cool stuff here. Like there's just four... Like, when I went here, I like I went here just to see the Fennec Fox, basically. And I, I knew that either this was going to be just the worst place ever, or just the craziest place ever. And I No, literally. I'm so glad that it was the latter. Because <laughs> there's just <laughs> so much inspiration here. And it has no, no right to be this good. <laughs> I love, like, my really funky exhibit designs. Mm -hmm. And... Like, everything in here is just so unique. Like the India Harbor, like the Penguin Classroom, I guess. <laughs> but it's just so cool. The sewer theming is what I love to see. Yeah. And I'm su bats, nice. Yeah, so over here we have some bats. And this is kind of the final room. So we have a bunch of awesome. bats over here. Uh, we have Tenrec, which is really, really cool. Um, absolutely love those. Actually got the pet one the other day, which is pretty cute. Nice. <laughs> Did you get bit by that one too? No, 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 just a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've been told that you do not want to get bit by a ten wreck. They will. Oh no. They will like. I think they're poisonous, right? Or no, venomous? but they will like. They will chew. They will oh. not just bite and hold on. They will, like, start chewing on you well, that's as they're biting good. you. So, yeah. Uh, over here we have the Argus monitor. <gasps> the <Really> boy. <laughs> I love him. You love everything. <laughs> I do. Can you blame me? The no. world is so full of wonder. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Oh my some, gosh. Some nice temple theming. No right. And I love how it continues on like the guest side too. Mm -hmm. It's just that kind of like immersion that really helps it yeah just everything is connected and, uh, i think this is a secondary exhibit for the tenrec as well so if you nice to look in the corner oh my god there he is very hidden <laughs> look at him he's a spiky boy <laughs> yeah and I just I think like they're oh, yeah. able to do so much with so many small creatures that it's just incredible. Yeah. No, but it's like, yeah, it's just small animals, small exhibits, but done. This is kind of what I had in mind for Key Park. So I was actually really, really glad that I went here. Yes. Because it's just, yeah, little, you have, you have very little space, but you're just going to go all out and see what you can end up with. Look at that boy. <laughs> I love it. What kind of frog is that? I don't African know. African <laughs> bull frog? Maybe Probably. it's a cane toad. I, it's definitely I, a cane toad. I don't think we have a lot of cane toads in the in Europe. Really? Yeah, probably. Really? You guys spread them all over the world, I think, right? Didn't you guys do that? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are trying to prevent them from being spread all around the world. But yeah, that was it for the, the zoo part. Um, oh my gosh. Of the, of the area. There is a little... That was crazy. There is like a little restaurant over there inside of the pet store, because why not? 
Um, mm -hmm. Now I'm, I'm really upset at this, but um, there is like a whole lake within the reptile section. Oh, oh also, <laughs> welcome to uh, Cat Street. <laughs> this is uh, the cat the part frick. of the pet store. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's like this entire lake in the reptile section of the pet store that has like lesser flamingo. And here you can see some of it. But, um, but basically, I had a lot of footage of the floor. So I think I must have um, hit record at the wrong time at some point. Oh, and it no. got messed up, and I don't have any footage of the lake other than this. So, but it, that's insane <clears throat> that flamingos. Yeah. yeah, lesser flamingos just in the middle of the store, and you don't you don't have to pay for that one. So that's uh, crazy. Yeah. It's just a and free the, experience. Oh my gosh, yeah. all these terrariums. And this is all of the these are for sale. <laughs> that's perfect. This is, that's this cool. is part of the uh, the store's store. It's cool that they actually have like cool theming for the ones that you can buy. Yeah, yeah, they don't just ditch them in somewhere. <laughs> Hello, it's, I think that's a blue tongue skink, which is really cool. Nice. Uh, pretty. Expensive. I would love to get one of those one day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, <clears throat> I've been, as some people know, I've been like making a terrarium, um, mm -hmm. a bioactive one, and those work really well for things like skinks and stuff. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, that was. Um, Aventuria de Vogelkelder. Mappa Mundia. <laughs> Hope you had I fun. Got it. <laughs> I, listen, I'm so happy you brought me on for this one because this was... Not only do I feel inspired, I feel honored. You know, when I saw the, this naked, was when I saw the naked soupies, all I could think about was you, so I just had to. Aww, <laughs> I'm so honored. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Well, thank you well, so much for you. joining me. Oh, please. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it was a little chaotic, but we made it through. Oh, so, it needs to be. Thanks, everyone, for watching. See you in the next zoo tour. Uh, we're going to do a couple more small zoos before we start on probably Rotterdam, because uh, people seem to be really excited about that one. So, um, mm -hmm. I'll see you in those. Bye-bye. Peace. <laughs>